New at 6, mental health and opioid issues front and center today with Senator Mike Lee in South Jordan. The senator listened to local police and fire officials on the challenges they face. New specialist Alex Cabrero is live tonight. Alex, any surprises here? Dave, maybe the biggest surprise is that fire departments like South Jordan here spend roughly only 20% of their time actually fighting fires. The other 80% is dealing with medical calls, and as well as from what we're hearing from police agencies all across the valley, often those medical calls have something to do with mental health. No one ever really wants to go to jail. Unfortunately, in Salt Lake County, that goes for mental health workers, too. It's hard to find doctors and therapists that want to work in the jail. You know, the environment um, is probably not the best environment. Sheriff Rosie Rivera says they've had an opening for six months now and feels bad for those in jail who may have acted out because of a crisis or had an episode and truly need mental help. But they probably don't need to be there. We need a place that we can take these folks and get them the true treatment that they need. It's hard to blame police officers for bringing them to jail. What else are they supposed to do? Unfortunately for years, uh, sometimes we've had to deal with that uh, as the jail is the default mental health facility, which is never a good thing. It's based on protecting and serving. It's one of many issues Utah right Senator Mike that. Lee heard about and this morning as he met with and police and, and fire chiefs from across the valley. These are people who are at the tip of the spear on some of our society's greatest problems. I want to hear what's on their minds. Mental health and opioid abuse seem to be the two biggest issues right now, and he thinks they're right, connected. Right. You're saying you've, you've got a lot of people occupying bed space in jails who probably uh, who need to be in a mental health care environment instead of right. a jail. For Sheriff Rivera, it's a start. I think this was important to meet with Senator Lee, so we can let those you know, who are working in the federal government know our issues here. Thank you very much, and thanks for letting me speak to you today. And dealing with those mental health concerns isn't just a police issue. Andrew Butler, the fire chief here at South Jordan, says that mental health medical calls have jumped dramatically for his department the past few years. He says they need help, and he's hoping today's meeting with Senator Lee ultimately leads to that help. Dave? Alex Cabrera, live for us out in South Jordan tonight. Thanks, Alex. Well,